Welcome back po dito sa Buhay Canada. I'll just talk to them, okay? Buhay natin sa Winnipeg, Manitoba. So, makitip, makitrip, at makitravel dito sa amin sa Buhay Canada. So, right here, Starbase Mountain. Pinalik ng park. Then, here, sir. Woo! Hi everyone and welcome back dito sa Buhay sa Canada. And once again, if this is your first time watching me onto this video, my name is John. And for today's video, there is a new pilot program upcoming this coming March of 2020. Now, this is basically designed for butchers, farm workers, farm supervisors, or yung mga farm general laborer. Yes, there's a new program upcoming uh, na ilalunch nila with all the details this coming March of 2020 na dapat nating abangan. Now, ang magbe-benefit nito, if you are now uh, working sa or may experience ka sa farm, sa butchery, or even sa farm supervising or managerial, I think this is your best option as of now. Sabi ko nga sa inyo, before, marami sa atin ang gustong pumunta rito, pero iba't iba ang work experience. This is the right opportunity para naman dun sa mga kababayan natin na may experience sa sakahan or sa pagsasaka. It's either sa animal, sa, sa poultry, or sa mga uh, harvesting part, yung mga pickers, mga fruit pickers. Yan, this is the best time. Now, if hindi ka masyadong nagbivisit sa website ng Canada, which is the cic.gc.ca, nandudun po yung mga update na sinasabi ko sa inyo. But if you are busy at gusto mo lang manood sa mga videos natin, I will walk you through doon sa process on how yung ilalunch yung program na to this coming March of 2020. Anyway, by this program, it will last until March of 2023. So we really have a lot of opportunities to work on onto this pathway. So, ayan. Now, let's go and dive in doon sa the, uh, Canada website para at least maging aware ka rin papaano or ano ba yung makikita mo doon. And then, we will discuss on how this process will go through at ibibigay ko sa inyo yung pinaka-opinion ko sino yung magbe-benefit nitong program na to. Now, this is the official website of Canada. Just log in to www.cic.gc.ca. So right now, we are on the main screen of the website and we will click on to the immigrate. Then you will see here your lot ng pathway including the agri-food immigration pilot. Then we'll click on that. Then about the pilot program, this will start and become available in March 2020. Now, what are the industries or job industries na kailangan? We have the meat product, manufacturing, greenhouse, nursery, and even including the mushroom production. And same thing, the animal production. Now, if you have this experience, like in a meat product, like the retail butchers, industrial butchers, farm supervisors, and even food processing laborers. Now, kapag sinabi mo naman regarding sa greenhouse or yung nursery, including the mushroom production, if you are have an experience as a farm supervisors, harvesting laborers, or even yung general farm workers, you have an opportunity para makapasok dito sa program na ito. Now, same thing goes as for the animal production uh, as a farm supervisors or even general laborers. Now, there is a limit. There is a limit per year to be accepted as an applicant. So this, this will be a first come first serve basis kapag napuno na nila yung required na applicants per year they will stop and then they will reset on the next uh, next year. Now what are the requirements? One of the requirements of this is syempre dapat meron ka pa ring work experience or job experience sa field ng farming. With this experience dapat din uh, meron ka at least one year of minimum experience onto this field. Ang maganda rito is that uh, as a temporary uh, foreign worker program, you may use your 
labor market impact assessment within a minimum of 12 months duration at you can use this LAMIA to prove that you have a work experience doon sa field ng farming na hinahanap nila. Now, most likely, this will be the same requirements katulad ng mga uh, rural immigration pilot program and even mga express entry. You need a job offer from a designated employer na masasali dito sa program ng agri-food immigration, syempre nandyan pa rin yung language requirement. One good thing with the language requirement is nasa minimum language requirement lang tayo with a CLB or yung IELTS score of 4 in the 4 major uh, skill type which is yung reading, writing, speaking, and listening. And one of the requirement as well is yung tinatawag nilang educational requirements in which lagi yang kasama sa pagpaprocess ng papers dito papunta sa Canada. Now, with the settlement funds, if you're applying outside Canada, you still need to provide a proof of funds kung paano mo uh, susuportahan financially ang budget mo dito sa Canada. But, if you are here or working as a contract worker sa Canada and you have a working permit, you don't need to provide or it is not required to provide the proof of funds kasi you are here na sa Canada and you have an active employer at meron kang trabaho. So that is the advantage. Alright, we already discussed yung process sa website. And na, nakita na rin natin na this is the same normal um, pathway na gagawin uh, katulad na lang ng Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program, ng Rural Immigration Pilot Program. There is also a need for a work employer in order for you to get into this program. Siyempre, nandiyan pa rin yung pagkuha mo ng Education Credential Assessment Nandiyan pa rin yung IELTS which is yung isa sa mga kailangan na, na language skills pero hindi naman ganun kataas yung kailangan na scores natin. Kaya alam ko kung kayang-kaya natin yon And then, nandiyan pa rin yung settlement funds. Now, it based on my opinion sa ginagawa natin mga content dito sa buhay sa Canada, really ang magbe-benefit na itong uh, agri-food immigration pilot program is yung mga nandito na sa Canada, yung may mga contract or yung may mga work permit na. Yes, yung may mga work permit. Uh, if you are now working sa field na yan, sa farm industry, you have a big chance, kailangan nyo lang i-check lagi yung cic.gc.ca, yung mga requirements na, mang, uh, na ilalagay nila. So, bakit ko nasabi na ang magbe-benefit nito is yung may mga work permit na or yung may mga lamia Na, na nagtatrabaho na dito sa Canada. Kasi, they have an access para dun sa mga employer na kunin lang yung LAMIA, na active na LAMIA nila na ginamit sa work permit para makapag-submit sa isa sa mga requirements nito. So again, uh, yung ECA nga na, na sabi natin, IELTS. So mas madalis, mas mabilis na nilang ma-isasubmit ito kasama ng work permit na in sa kanila na kanilang work employer. Ang maganda pa nito is that kapag nandito ko na sa Canada, you don't need to provide a settlement fund. Yes, you don't need to provide a settlement fund if nagtatrabaho ka na rito as a farm supervisor or an industrial butcher. So that's a great news na sa mga kababayan natin na nandito na sa Canada. So katulad na lang no, na interview natin, Last time na nga eh, nagtatrabaho nga siya sa isang uh, turkey farm. So, I think this is the best time. Ito na yung sagot to become a permanent resident dito sa Canada. So, yan po yung opportunity na pwede nating abangan for the next couple of weeks. And for sure, maglalabas pa sila ng mga updates. So, yun po yung maganda rito. No? Uh, we're just giving an information. We're just giving uh, or sharing our thoughts dun sa mga pilot programs na lumalabas. And once again, wag po kayo mawawala ng pag-asa. Tuloy-tuloy lang po kung talagang gusto nyo pong makapag-migrate dito sa Canada. And a big congratulations na rin po if you know Anthony Samano. 
he just already got his permanent resident status dito sa Canada for for the for the longest time nakasama natin dito sa channel si Anthony uh, isa rin siya sa mga nagbibigay ng mga tips sa inyo isa rin siya sa nagbibigay ng mga sumasagot ng mga comments ninyo and right now permanent resident na nga siya dito sa Canada and now inaantay niya na lang is to become a Canadian citizen so yan, uh, if in case may natutunan kayo dito sa video na to just try to share it or sabihin mo sa mga kakilala mo na gustong pumunta dito sa Canada or nagpla-plano mag-migrate dito sa Canada and Maraming maraming salamat po and once again, if this is your first time watching me, consider uh, subscribing to our channel and even hit mo na rin yung bell button para mas maging updated ka sa more upcoming videos na natin dito sa buhay sa Canada. And once again, a lesson learned is always a lesson to be shared and I will see you po on to our next video.